today is the iconic Russian military rucksack, the Veshmeshuk. The design goes back over a hundred, hundred years. And as produced for World War I and then again during the World War II, a long, long afterwards. Not because the design is so great, but because this kind of a rucksack is easy and simple to manufacture in large quantities. It's basically a large, well, not very large, but a canvas bag with uh, carrying straps attached. It's, uh, you know, I gotta say, this is tough, tough canvas. It feels really, really durable. I think you can break this rucksack. There's no situation you encounter that will break this rucksack. And uh, it has this only one external compartment. I got a, a, my canteen is right there right now and uh, in the sack itself let's, let's open this to undo this loop and uh, inside there's a regular regular draw cord it's, uh, it's easy to open but otherwise this is <laughs> very poorly executed draw cord it's not so easy to close Okay, like that. But the, the sack, sack itself, and you see it's 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 with one one compartment. This is made in. It's barely visible there. 1984. Soon I will show you how to how to close this thing just like this stack so. this kept closed by its own own weight this uh closing and opening system this this really sucks in the long run there is no fast working delivery boys rucksack I tell you that and of course the shoulder straps they are not padded but uh, there's a there's a chest strap and uh, on the sides you have these straps they are straps for carrying your your wool trench coat in a horseshoe manner trench coat or a bedroll which back in the day was the same thing and uh, like you see this backpack it, it lacks any structure it's uh it's like a potato sack you can't carry very heavy heavy loads with this for not very long periods of time anyway and like you see there's no rubberized surfaces at the bottom or on top of this for foolproof waterproofing but the back back is impregnated and of course you can do your waterproofing yourself with Greenland wax etc and of course I'll be giving this Russian backpack a proper field test I'll be hiking for kilometers and kilometers with uh, basic hiking gear in this Veshmeshok and uh, we'll see what happens. See you!